Hi all and welcome to another bill card. This is Luke and in this guy dial step. You through how I build some hecho scale. Channeling fence using every day. Materials just like the ones you're looking at first off we need together. Their materials for the chain link so I use nylon tool which is available from most fabric stores and you want to find the one that has the smallest holes it's similar to the netting they use for wedding veils and things like that I use 18 gauge wire for the frame of the fence and finally to weather it I give it a light coat of spray paint here is a complete list of the tools and materials I used if you need more time you can pause the video and take some notes and step one is to prepare the wire unfortunately the wire I got was all coiled up so I had to do my best to straighten it I then cut small lengths depending on where it goes the upright bars 3 centimeters long and the crossbars are five and a half centimeters long I use the file to scrap the ends and remove the burr from where the wire was cut with all the bars cut and fold I do my best to match the longer crossbars in pairs of equal lengths depending on how accurate you are when you cut them some of the bars will be longer or shorter if you want you could file them all to be perfect on the plywood I draw a guide to help me lay the crossbars straight then using the guide I'll place all the parts down ready to be soldered I use blue tack to hold the pieces in place and then I fine-tune the position of each piece I prefer using blue tack as opposed to masking tape because it's much easier to make fine adjustments to the position of each piece after you've laid them a bit of flux hop saw to make a good bond and then it's as simple as applying solder to each joint depending on how good you are at soldering you may need to fall down some of the joints to remove large lots of solder and as you can see obviously I could do with a bit of practice if a joint breaks or cracks it's pretty easy to fix just anchor it down again with blue tack and re-solder next get some nylon tool and cut a small piece large enough to cover the fence framework to fix the nylon tool to the wire frame I use super glue and I only need to put a small amount of glue around the framework of the fence I do my best to get the nylon nice and flat on the plywood and then position the framework of the fence over the top and drop it on this step may not be needed but I weigh down the wire frame using a piece of off-cut plywood and some weights and then I leave it for a few minutes depending on how much super glue you applied will determine how easy it is to lift the fence away from the plywood I actually applied probably a little bit too much but I'm still able to pry the fence away without damaging it using a sharp hobby knife I then cut away any excess nylon from around the fence and I can see some areas of nylon that didn't stick very well so on those areas I just touch up with some extra super glue and that's it some of you may be happy with this result gives a new shiny looking fence but I prefer a darker more weather look so I'm going to finish it with a light coat of paint it only needs to be a very light coat of paint because you want to avoid paint filling in the small holes in the nylon once both sides are sprayed I prop it up off the plywood to prevent the nylon from sticking to it as the paint dries and if that was to happen it would make it quite difficult to pull the fence away from the plywood without damaging 
the nylon an interesting thing happens. After the nylon is sprayed as the paint dries it shrinks and tightens the nylon. And the end result is a nice taut fence. That gives a good realistic result when placed on the layout by setting the line posts further apart than what would be prototypical we get an illusion of the fence looking a little more realistic and the materials blending into the scene a little better when the line posts are close together it makes the whole fence look a little bit oversized but it's totally up to you how far you space the posts you can experiment and see what you like best anyway that finishes off the guide for building a hockel chain link fence thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed the build if you want to see more like this just leave a comment let me know cheers leave